invest in quality equipment. You need to invest in quality microphones. Your cameras, 4K. 4K, why? Because you got to make sure that it's appealing to the eye. So you must invest in quality equipment, all right? Next point. You want to provide continuous training. Provide continuous training. That must mean that you are always stepping it up, that you are raising the standard. If you all are doing the same type of visuals, the same type of content that you was when you first came into the truth, you got a problem. That means visually y'all are being left behind. Visually that y'all are not growing. And how are people coming into the truth by the thousands? Through the visuals. And how are people coming into the truth by the thousands? Through the visuals. Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start by giving all the praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rachak, Wadash. Double honor to the elder apostles and bishops of the great millstone that rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations unto the four elect tabernacle of David, scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. Now, certainly, the, the intents of the heart is definitely being shown in these last days. And, uh, you know, the most high is going to, you know, show with a spiritual magnifying glass, you know, where the hearts of men truly is. You know, if they really have their heart fully set upon him or upon they self. Now, you just heard this individual speak. You know, he's giving a lecture on how they need to step they they, they Hollywood production game up. And, uh. You know, if you say if you if 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 your content, if your videos that you're putting up every day isn't in sync with Hollywood production, the quality of film, then uh, you're not growing because you want to appeal to the eye of the average listener. That sound to me like a bunch of advertisement. That sound like commercialization. So now you're going to set the criteria of how we present the word of the Lord based on what now? A 4K camera? Like and see, people will be thinking that we just be picking with these guys. Like, we just be getting on them for no reason. But uh, this, like, the, the things that this man is saying, how could you really sit up there and say that this is the way thousands of souls are going to be converted to you? As if you have plush, Hype Williams, Spike Lee, quality uh, film production with your videos now we know according to the scriptures this was how our people were going to come to the Lord let's go to Romans 10 and verse 14 and it says how then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed and how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah saith, Lord, who have believed our report? So then faith cometh by hearing, hearing the word of the Most High. 
and we're going to be saved uh, by our faith. But you, what, what are you going to have faith in if you didn't hear the word being spoken, the spoken word? Which the Lord said that he will send uh, preachers according to his heart. He's going to send men that's going to uh, bring the, the, the good news, the gospel. Psalm 60 and 11, the most I gave the word. Blessed are the company of those that published it, that announced it, that made it public. And back in the, the days of the, of the prophets, back in the days of uh, Yahweh Shai and his disciples, they didn't have a camera crew. Right, they didn't have photographers. They didn't have, you know, uh, uh, production equipment. They didn't walk around with mics in their hands. They just went and they spoke. And the Holy Spirit worked upon those who were going to be drawn in. Now, remember when Yahweh Shai made that prayer for his disciples. He said that not only would he pray for them, but also those who would be saved through hearing their word. John 17 and 20. I'll start at uh, verse 17. It says, Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I sent them into the world. And for their sake, sakes, I sanctify myself, that they also might be sanctified through the truth. All right? You're going to be cleaned up and sanctified by the truth, not by a Hollywood production. All right. Not by how um, how crystal clear, you know, your, uh, your your video show. It's not by the solution that the, the camera quality of your content. They're going to be sanctified by the truth. Hearing this word. It says, neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. But they're, but they're saying, no, they're going to uh, believe on, on Yahweh Shai through, you know, uh, watching how crystal clear our videos are. All right. The, the, the little uh, graphics and, 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 and theatrics. And our intros, that, that's what's going to reel them in. They're going to believe on me through that. Like, dudes are showing you, like the Lord is making it clear the intents of, of the hearts of men in these last days. It's, it, it's, it's all being uh, put out there for Israel to see. Now, we're not tripping. You know, we're not just uh, just getting on dudes just for the sake of getting on them. All right. That's straight up madness. Like dudes are setting up a, 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 a worldly standard and criteria for how we present the truth. Get out of here with that, man. We got to appeal to the average eye. First of all, the most eye. He don't look upon men the way men look upon men. The Lord looks upon the spirit. So the Lord can care less about your Hollywood production. He can care about the quality of your cameras. Just as long as you're getting the word out, that's what counts. But it matters to these guys because they're so caught up in their self-image. It's about maintaining a certain image to the world. You really care about the, the, the world's perception about you. About how you present yourself in, in, in your content. And that's really you just seeking your glory. It says, neither I pray for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. That they all may be one, as thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee, that they also may be one in us. That the world may believe that thou hast sent me. All right. So the Lord said that there's going to be those who's going to believe on Yahweh Shai through the preaching of 
the gospel through the preaching of the word by his disciples, his apostles. All right, the evangelists, the prophets, the apostles, the teachers. Which he used to establish the church. So we can go to a few instances where these men were in the Holy Spirit, of course, preaching. And the souls that believed, they believed based on the word that they heard. This is uh, Acts 2 and verse um, 37. And it says, now when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart and said unto Peter and the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Yahweh Mashiach for the remission of sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For the promise is unto you and to your children and to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord our power shall call. Because it's about who the Lord uh, is calling. And not everybody is uh, called. All right. Not many mighty, not many noble, not many... Uh, 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 wise in this world are, are, are called and then you have those that are called but are not chosen these dudes get caught up in the numbers game when it's the heavenly father that's drawn to himself all we're doing is, is, is watering and, and planting the most high is the one who's increasing and nothing that we do is of ourself. These dudes lack humility, man. It is, it's our Hollywood production that's gathering Israel. It's our jet setting that's gathering Israel. Why not just uh, uh, praise Yahweh Shai for giving us this word to be able to preach to Israel so that they can be gathered? How about that? Now, why isn't that good enough? Because dudes are coming in with their own self uh, uh, and selfish ambition. They they coming in with their own agenda, their own motive. Uh, verse forty, and with many other words did he testify and exhort, saying, "Save yourselves from this untoward generation." Then they that gladly received his word. All right. They didn't have uh, uh, camera effects and they didn't have a camera crew. All right. They they you, they wasn't watching videos back then. They heard the word and were convinced. They gladly received it and, 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 and were cleansed. They were baptized. And the same day there were added unto them about three thousand souls. So you had three thousand brothers and sisters that converted because they heard the word and the Holy Spirit came upon them. That's what's gathering Israel. Not your uh, camera crew and your productions. And they continue steadfastly in apostles' doctrine and fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayers. All right, so let's go from there to... um. Acts the fourth chapter. This is Acts four and one. It says, and as they spake unto the people, the priests and the captain of the temple and the Sadducees came upon them, being grieved that they taught the people and preached through Yahweh the resurrection of the dead. And they laid hands on him and put them in hold until the next day. For it was now eventide. Howbeit many of them which heard the word believed no, they saw the uh, the camera effects in the production. You know, they saw the logos and, you know, the, the, the effects. You know, they, they saw men marching up and down the street. You know, with, 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 with a cadence. Doing chants. No, many, howbeit many of them which heard the word, believed. And the number of the men was about 5,000. So every time you saw that there was examples of thousands of Jake uh, uh, being converted and coming into the truth, 
the, the word was spoke. That's all it took was the word being spoke, the spoken word coming out of the law the, uh, and, and the prophets concerning Yahweh Shai and, and its coming, what he came to fulfill and, and, and what's promised to us. So let's go from there. And I want to get this real quick. Let's go to Romans 15. <clears throat> this is our Romans 15 and I'm going to start at verse 13 it says now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace and believing that you may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. And I myself also am persuaded of you, my brethren, that you also are, are full of goodness, filled with all knowledge, able to admonish one another. And, you know, we, we preach this word. We preach it to uh, uh, faithful men who's going to uh, teach others also. Right? We, we're, we're seeking for fruit. That's me for repentance. It says, nevertheless, brethren, I have writ written the more boldly unto you in some sort as putting you in mind because of the grace that is given to me of the Most High, that I should be the minister of, of Yahweh Mashiach to the Gentiles, ministering the gospel of the Most High, that the offering up of the Gentiles might be acceptable, being sanctified by the Holy Ghost. Now, he's basically speaking as a priest here. Now, he's a priest of Yahweh you know, uh, uh, min you know, ministering the, the gospel, sacri uh, uh, sacrificing himself, presenting his body as a living sacrifice to bring the, the Israelite foreigners in. Knowing, you know, what it was doing to those of the circumcision, how they were, you know, uh, envious. You know, he was putting himself in danger, preaching to the Israelite foreigners. It says, being sanctified by the Holy Ghost. I have therefore whereof I may glory through Yahweh Shai Mashiach in those things which pertain to the Most High. For I will not dare to speak of any of those things which Yahweh Shai have not wrought by me to make the Gentiles obedient by word and deed. So he's saying it's not of myself. You know? Those, those things that I'm doing is not of me. That, that somehow... These Israelite foreigners that just came out of a Gentile state of mind are actually being obedient to my instructions that I'm giving them. It says, through mighty signs and wonders by the power of the Spirit of the Most High, so that from Jerusalem and round about unto um, Illyricum, I have fully preached the gospel of Yahweh Mashiach. All right. So it was through the power of the, of the Heavenly Father, man. The miracles, the signs, the spirit of the Most High. That was primarily what uh, demonstrated the power that convinced uh, these Israelites. As he was preaching the gospel of Yahweh Shai. Okay. So the word in the, in, in the power of the Holy Spirit does enough for the Lord's ministry. We ain't got to worry about uh, uh, how crisp the production of our videos is, man. We ain't got to, we ain't got to, the hell with uh, being uh, concerned with the production of how we presenting the word of the Most High to Israel. The hell with that, man. All we're doing is just teaching and however it goes up, whatever camera you use, whether you use your smartphone, an actual uh, a, a camcorder, a, cam a camera, a webcam, it doesn't matter. Just as long as it's going up. The, the, all the fruit that, uh, that the apostles then received over the years, it wasn't because they had the best 
uh, 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 produced film uh, uh, or footage on, on YouTube. It wasn't because they had these, you know, uh, uh, Hollywood intros into their videos to do their lessons. It was because edification was going out. The videos sometimes would maybe be grainy. You know, not the best of quality, but you still heard the word. You still heard the message. That's what pulled us in. The camera quality wasn't all that great back then. Everything wasn't in, um, was that a, 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 a 1080? It, was, it wasn't that. It wasn't even in 720. When YouTube first was was around, the man, the, the 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 quality of the footage was it was trash. It was real grainy back then. But that none of us cared about that. We was watching the word being uh, preached, and we were being edified, man. So if you caught up into that, you caught up in your own self glorification, which the scriptures tell you not to do that. Let me get uh, one more verse here in Romans. Romans uh, 16 and... Here we go. This is uh, Romans uh, 16 and 24 says, The grace of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, be with you all, Amun. Now to him that is of power to establish you according to my gospel and the preaching of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, according to the revelation of the mystery, which was kept secret since the world began, but now is made manifest and by the scriptures of the prophets, according to the commandment of the everlasting power made known to all nations, for the obedience of faith. All right. And this was meant, you know, in the spirit that this gospel will be made known among all the nations because Israel was scattered among the nations. All right. And, and you know, the understanding of the scriptures breaking down uh, what was uh, spoken of by the, uh, the, uh, the prophets. So it was it was meant for all of them to, to receive it. Unto uh, faith They didn't have no damn camera crew back then There was no Hollywood production They didn't have the technology So if they didn't need it back then We don't really need that now Now yeah we do use a camera We do use what we need Because the internet was a tool That the Lord set up So that we can actually uh, uh, Get the gospel pushed out Amongst the four corners of the earth The internet doing the heavy lifting for us We ain't got to go and travel We read that in uh, Psalms the 19th chapter Alright So let me get this real quick Because we're not about pleasing You know uh, uh, You know Man's eyesight You know we, this is not for Um uh, 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 eye service Alright this, this ain't about none of that This is literally about preaching the word And defending it uh, Galatians 1 and 10 it says For do I now persuade men Or the most high Or do I seek to please men For if I yet pleased men I should not be the servant of Yahweh Shai Let me go to the Amplified on that it says, am I now trying to win the favor and approval of men or of the Most High? You think the Most High care about your, your, your camera uh, quality? Do you think he care about your, 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 uh, your productions, your Hollywood production? No. How about doing his will? That, that's what he approves of. Or am I seeking to please someone? Jake care about how the world uh, perceives their videos and their outward appearance and their image. If I were still trying to be popular with men, I would not be a bond servant of a Mashiach. And that's plain, man. Okay. So, 
let's go from there. Let's go to uh, Galatians 5 and 26. And it says, we must not become conceited, challenging or provoking one another, envying one another. All right. Now, in the KJV, it says we must not be desirous of vainglory, provoking one another and envying one another, which we don't envy those brothers or any of that. But when we see certain things, we're going to call it out. All right. Because you would think watching this and hearing what this brother is saying, that you would think that that's supposed to be the set criteria on how we're supposed to serve the Lord and present his his uh, his word. You got to have a, 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 a four. You got to have a 4D video, vid, a video camera. Make sure it's 4D or 4K or whatever he said. You know, make sure you you, you get some training. Make sure you, because this is how you grow. If you're showing the same videos, how, how you did it, when you first came into the truth, you're not growing. That's not what the scriptures say. What, what book, chapter, and verse says that, man? Come on, man. You're growing and abounding in Yahweh Shai if you're adding to your virtue knowledge and 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 and, and charity and, and diligence and knowledge. You know, long suffering. Our brotherly kindness. When you add into those things, that's how you're growing. So this is really just uh these guys, you know, in their in their in their own self glorification, man. Now, when you look up that word glory, right? Because it says vain glory, and it's breaking up of uh, two different uh, etymology words: uh, kenos, keno, and uh, doxa. Now, you look up the word do, uh, 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 doxa or doxa. It says. Opinion, judgment, view. So you care about how people view you. You care about people's opinion. Which is why he's saying you want to appeal to the average eye. You want to make sure we're pulling people in because people, they're about visuals. Well, you got to be a visionary to be in this truth. You know, and, and the prophets were known as seers. So we have the visual and we're telling them what the visuals is. The visual is, is hey, this devil's going to come down with great wrath. He's going to present that uh, that uh, that 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 micro sea hip to the world. And if you don't uh, accept it, if you don't allow them to implant that into you, you will be cut off from this system that they've already uh, constructed. We see it because we visualize it. And we're seeing it happen in, in real time. The technology and the system that, that is going to be uh, 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 built upon. All right? We're seeing all these things, man. World War Three on the brink. Is is intensifying over there in in the uh, in in the Middle East, the so-called Middle East. It says opinion, judgment, view, opinion, estimate, whether good or bad concerning someone. In the New Testament, always a good opinion concerning one, resulting in praise, honor, and glory. Okay, and that's what they care about. That's why uh, Hollywood production is that important. You know, like that's that's a horrible uh, uh, message to to put out there. You know, put the and it, like, just like the uh, the wicked scribes and Pharisees when they was putting burdens, all right, on on, on other uh, Israelites to make them look a certain way. It was about the outward appearance with them. They they was all about uh, self image. So they will put burdens on others to make themselves try to look good. And Yahweh Shai called them hypocrites. 
All about the outward man, all you know, the outward appearance. You make beautiful uh, uh, the uh, the outer part of the cup. You know, you appear as a a, a, a witted a sepulcher, a whited uh, sepulcher. So, yeah, man, this is this is false. All right, our people are gonna come gathered. They're gonna wake up. <laughs> By hearing this word being preached. None of that stuff that this dude here is talking. So with that. I'm going to give all praise to y'all. To the next one. Shalom.